In mathematics, the gradient is a multi-variable generalization of the derivative. While a derivative can be defined on functions of a single variable, for functions of several variables, the gradient takes its place. The gradient is a vector-valued function, as opposed to a derivative, which is scalar-valued. Like the derivative, the gradient represents the slope of the tangent of the graph of the function. More precisely, the gradient points in the direction of the greatest rate of increase of the function, and its magnitude is the slope of the graph in that direction. The components of the gradient in coordinates are the coefficients of the variables in the equation of the tangent space to the graph. This characterizing property of the gradient allows it to be defined independently of a choice of coordinate system, as a vector field whose components in a coordinate system will transform when going from one coordinate system to another. The Jacobian is the generalization of the gradient for vector-valued functions of several variables and differentiable maps between Euclidean spaces or, more generally, manifolds. A further generalization for a function between Banach spaces is the Fréchet derivative. Topic. Motivation Consider a room in which the temperature is given by a scalar field, T, so at each point x, y, z, the temperature is T x, y, z. Assume that the temperature does not change over time. At each point in the room, the gradient of T at that point will show the direction in which the temperature rises most quickly. The magnitude of the gradient will determine how fast the temperature rises in that direction. Consider a surface whose height above sea level at point x, y is h x, y. The gradient of h at a point is a vector pointing in the direction of the steepest slope or grade at that point. The steepness of the slope at that point is given by the magnitude of the gradient vector. The gradient can also be used to measure how a scalar field changes in other directions, rather than just the direction of greatest change, by taking a dot product. Suppose that the steepest slope on a hill is 40%. If a road goes directly up the hill, then the steepest slope on the road will also be 40%. If, instead, the road goes around the hill at an angle, then it will have a shallower slope. For example, if the angle between the road and the uphill direction, projected onto the horizontal plane, is 60 degrees, then the steepest slope along the road will be 20%, which is 40% times the cosine of 60 degrees. This observation can be mathematically stated as follows. If the hill height function h is differentiable, then the gradient of h dotted with a unit vector gives the slope of the hill in the direction of the vector. More precisely, when h is differentiable, the dot product of the gradient of h with a given unit vector is equal to the directional derivative of h in the direction of that unit vector. <laughs> Definition The gradient or gradient vector field of a scalar function f x1, x2, x3, xn is denoted f or f where the nabla symbol denotes the vector differential operator del. The notation grad f is also commonly used for the gradient. The gradient of f is defined as the unique vector field whose dot product with any unit vector v at each point x is the directional derivative of f along v. That is f x v equals d v f x display style big nabla f x big c d o t math b f v equals d underscore math b f v f x when a function also depends on a parameter such as time the gradient often refers simply to the vector of its spatial derivatives only see spatial gradient Topic. Cartesian coordinates In the three-dimensional Cartesian coordinate system with a Euclidean metric, the gradient, if it exists, is given by f equals f x i plus f y j plus f z k Display style nabla f equals frac partial f partial x math bf i plus frac partial f partial y math bf j plus frac partial f partial z math bf k. 
where i, j, k are the standard unit vectors in the directions of the x, y and z coordinates, respectively. For example, the gradient of the function f x y z equals 2 x plus 3 y 2 minus sin z display style f x y z equals 2 x plus 3 y caret 2 sin z is f equals 2 i plus 6 y j minus cos z k display style nabla f equals 2 math bf i plus 6 y math bf j cos z math bf k in some applications it is customary to represent the gradient as a row vector or column vector of its components in a rectangular coordinate system topic Cylindrical and spherical coordinates In cylindrical coordinates with a Euclidean metric, the gradient is given by f rho phi z equals f rho e rho plus 1 rho f phi E phi plus f z e z display style nabla f rho var phi z equals frac partial f partial rho math bf e underscore rho plus frac one rho frac partial f partial var phi math bf e underscore var phi plus frac partial f partial z math bf e underscore z where rho is the axial distance, phi is the azimuthal or azimuth angle, z is the axial coordinate, and e rho, e phi and e z are unit vectors pointing along the coordinate directions. In spherical coordinates, the gradient is given by f r theta phi equals f r e r plus 1 R F theta E theta plus one R sin theta F phi E phi Display style nabla f r theta var phi equals frac partial f partial r math bf e underscore r plus frac one r frac partial f partial theta math bf e underscore theta plus frac one r sin theta frac partial f partial var phi math bf e underscore var phi where r is the radial distance, phi is the azimuthal angle and theta is the polar angle, and r, e theta and e phi are again local unit vectors pointing in the coordinate directions i.e. the normalized covariant basis. For the gradient in other orthogonal coordinate systems, see orthogonal coordinates differential operators in three dimensions. General coordinates. Using Einstein notation we can consider the gradient in general coordinates, which we write as x1 xi xn, where n is the number of dimensions of the domain. Here, the upper index refers to the number of the coordinate or component, so x2 refers to the second component, and not the quantity x squared. The index variable i is used to refer to an arbitrary element, such as xi. The gradient can then be written as f equals f x i e i equals f x i g i j e j 
Display style nabla f equals frac partial f partial x caret i math bf e caret i equals frac partial f partial x caret i g caret i j math bf e underscore j, where e i display style math bf e caret i and e j equals x x J display style math bf e underscore j equals partial math bf x partial x caret j refer to the unnormalized local contravariant and covariant bases respectively g i j display style g caret i j is the inverse metric tensor and the Einstein summation convention implies summation over i and j. In terms of the normalized bases, which we refer to as e caret i display style hat math bf e caret i and e caret j display style hat math bf e underscore j using the identities e i equals g i I display style L vert math BF e carrot I R vert equals sqrt G carrot e and e J equals G J J display style L vert math BF e underscore J R vert equals sqrt G underscore J J we can write F equals f x i g i i e caret i equals f x i g i j g j j e caret J display style nabla f equals frac partial f partial x caret i sqrt g caret e math bf hat e caret i equals frac partial f partial x caret i g caret i j sqrt g underscore j j math bf hat e underscore j, which will evaluate to the expressions given above for cylindrical and spherical coordinates. Topic. Gradient and the derivative or differential Topic. Linear approximation to a function The gradient of a function f from the Euclidean space Rn to R at any particular point x0 in Rn characterizes the best linear approximation to f at x0. The approximation is as follows f x approximately equals f x 0 plus f x 0 x minus x 0 Display style f x approximately f x underscore zero plus nabla f underscore x underscore zero c d o t x x underscore zero for x close to x zero, where f x zero is the gradient of f computed at x zero, and the dot denotes the dot product on R n. This equation is equivalent to the first two terms in the multivariable Taylor series expansion of f at x zero. Topic: Differential or exterior derivative. The best linear approximation to a differentiable function f r n r display style f colon math bf r caret n to math bf r at a point x in r n is a linear map from r n to r, which is often denoted by d f x or d f x, and called the differential or total derivative of f at x. The gradient is therefore related to the differential by the formula f 
x v equals d f x v display style nabla f underscore x c d o t v equals d f underscore x v for any v element of R n. The function df, which maps x to dfx, is called the differential or exterior derivative of f and is an example of a differential one form. If Rn is viewed as the space of dimension n column vectors of real numbers, then one can regard df as the row vector with components f x 1 f x n Display style left frac partial f partial x underscore one dots frac partial f partial x underscore n right, so that dfx v is given by matrix multiplication. Assuming the standard Euclidean metric on R n, the gradient is then the corresponding column vector, i.e. f i equals d f i t Display style nabla f underscore i equals d f underscore i caret m a t h s f t. Topic gradient as a derivative. Let u be an open set in R n. If the function f u r is differentiable, then the differential of f is the fresh derivative of f. Thus f is a function from u to the space R n such that lim h 0 f x plus h minus f x minus f x h h equals 0 Display style lim underscore h to zero frac f x plus h f x nabla f x c d o t h h equals zero. Where is the dot product? As a consequence, the usual properties of the derivative hold for the gradient. Topic: Linearity. The gradient is linear in the sense that if f and g are two real valued functions differentiable at the point a element of R n, and α and β are two constants, then α f plus β g is differentiable at a, and moreover α f plus β g a equals α f a plus β G A display style nabla left alpha f plus beta g right a equals alpha nabla f a plus beta nabla g a topic product rule. If f and g are real valued functions differentiable at a point a element of R n, then the product rule asserts that the product f g is differentiable at a and f g a equals f a g a plus g a f a display style nabla f g a equals f a nabla g a plus g a nabla f a topic Chain rule. Suppose that f a r is a real valued function defined on a subset A of R n, and that f is differentiable at a point A. There are two forms of the chain rule applying to the gradient. First, suppose that the function g is a parametric curve, that is, a function g i r n maps a subset i r into R n. If g is differentiable at a point c element of i such that g c equals a, then f g c equals f a g c display style f circ g c equals nabla f a c d o t g c where is the composition operator f g x equals f g x 
More generally, if instead I R K, then the following holds F G C equals D G C T F A Display style babla f circ g c equals big d g c big caret m a t h s f t big nabla f a big, where d g t denotes the transpose Jacobian matrix. For the second form of the chain rule, suppose that h i r is a real valued function on a subset i of r, and that h is differentiable at the point f a element of i, then h f a equals h f a f a display style nabla h circ f a equals h big f a big nabla f a topic further properties and applications Topic: Level sets. A level surface or isosurface is the set of all points where some function has a given value. If f is differentiable, then the dot product f x v of the gradient at a point x with a vector v gives the directional derivative of f at x in the direction v. It follows that in this case the gradient of f is orthogonal to the level sets of f. For example, a level surface in three-dimensional space is defined by an equation of the form f x, y, z equals c. The gradient of f is then normal to the surface. More generally, any embedded hypersurface in a Riemannian manifold can be cut out by an equation of the form fluorine monophosphide equals zero such that df is nowhere zero. The gradient of f is then normal to the hypersurface. Similarly, an affine algebraic hypersurface may be defined by an equation f x1 xn equals 0, where f is a polynomial. The gradient of f is 0 at a singular point of the hypersurface this is the definition of a singular point. At a non-singular point, it is a non-zero normal vector. Equals Topic. Conservative vector fields and the gradient theorem equals the gradient of a function is called a gradient field a continuous gradient field is always a conservative vector field its line integral along any path depends only on the endpoints of the path and can be evaluated by the gradient theorem the fundamental theorem of calculus for line integrals conversely a continuous conservative vector field is always the gradient of a function equals topic Generalizations equals topic gradient of a vector. Since the total derivative of a vector field is a linear mapping from vectors to vectors, it is a tensor quantity. In rectangular coordinates, the gradient of a vector field f equals f1, f2, f3 is defined by f equals g j k f i x j e i e k display style nabla math bf f equals g caret j k f r a c partial f caret i partial x caret j math bf e underscore i o times math bf e underscore k where the Einstein summation notation is used and the tensor product of the vectors a and x is a dyadic tensor of type 2, 0, or the transpose of the Jacobian matrix f i x j equals f 1 f 2 f 3 x 1 x 2 x 3 
Display style FRAC partial F carrot I partial X carrot J equals FRAC partial F carrot one F carrot two F carrot three partial X carrot one X carrot two X carrot three in curvilinear coordinates, or more generally on a curved manifold, the gradient involves Christoffel symbols F equals G J K F I X J plus Gamma I J L F L E I E K Display style Nabla Math BF F equals G carrot J K left FRAC partial F carrot I partial X carrot J plus Gamma carrot I underscore J L F carrot L right Math BF E underscore I O times Math BF E underscore K where G J K are the components of the inverse metric tensor and the A are the coordinate basis vectors. Expressed more invariantly, the gradient of a vector field F can be defined by the levi savita connection and metric tensor A F B equals G A C C F B Display style nabla carrot a f carrot b equals g carrot a c nabla underscore c f carrot b, where c is the connection. Topic: Riemannian manifolds. For any smooth function f on a Riemannian manifold m g, the gradient of f is the vector field f such that for any vector field x g f x equals x f display style g nabla f x equals partial underscore x f i e g x f x x x equals x f x Display style g underscore x big nabla f underscore x x underscore x big equals partial underscore x f x, where g x denotes the inner product of tangent vectors at x defined by the metric g and x f as the function that takes any point x element of M to the directional derivative of f in the direction x, evaluated at x. In other words, in a coordinate chart phi from an open subset of M to an open subset of R n, x f x is given by J equals one N X J Phi X X J F Phi minus one Phi X Display style sum underscore j equals one carrot n x carrot j big var phi x big frac partial partial x underscore j f circ var phi carrot minus one big underscore var phi x, where x j denotes the jth component of x in this coordinate chart. So the local form of the gradient takes the form f equals g i k F X K E I display style nabla F equals G caret ik frac partial F partial X caret K text B F E underscore I. Generalizing the case M equals R N, the gradient of a function is related to its exterior derivative, since X F X equals D F x x x display style partial underscore x f x equals d f underscore x x underscore x. More precisely, the gradient f is the vector field associated to the differential one form d f using the musical isomorphism sharp equals sharp g t m t. M 
Display style sharp equals sharp carrot G colon T carrot asterisk M to T M called sharp defined by the metric G. The relation between the exterior derivative and the gradient of a function on Rn is a special case of this in which the metric is the flat metric given by the dot product. See also Curl Divergence Four gradient Hessian matrix Skew gradient <laughs>